What is going on? You're listening to episode 266 of the Nintendo Powercast. I'm your host, N64 Josh. Player 2. Crawler, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? And it's Crawl coming at you. Crawler coming at you. Player 3, Super Nintendo. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Super Nintendo running away from you. <laughs> <laughs> player, <laughs> player 4 tonight. Hey, wheat bread. What's going on, buddy? Hey, wheat bread, keeping it toasty. <laughs> keeping it toasty. <laughs> just so, hey, wheat bread's in my chat. Often we were just like just getting ready to start the show. I was like, hey, come join us. Uh, is should I just call you bread? Should I call you wheat? Should I call you Mr. Gluten? What do you? Wheat bread. I mean, I've been called worse, so yeah, wheat <laughs> bread's good. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep... Wheat, wheat bread, your given name. <laughs> your given uh, yes. name. <laughs> He looks like a wheat bread. Guys, that music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. And if you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, my book, in fact, head on over to n64josh.com slash audible, and you can listen to me read you my book, Another Castle. Right? If you're already an Audible uh, subscriber, you can go pick it up for, like, less than $5. The gaming chair I'm sitting in and that crawler sitting in Anybody else sitting in? No, wheat bread was supposed to, but he's a traitor, so it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Chris needs to get one. Yeah, his feet broke. yeah. yeah right? I need just to broke. get one. Yeah, mine. I'm just down here on a stack of boxes, cardboard boxes. Josh sent me earlier in the week. I, I got I got cardboard boxes from Josh. Yeah. Animal yeah. Crossing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, I, I, it's because I love you. Anyway, the chair I'm sitting in and the crawler sitting in, it's from OPC. Head on over to n64josh.com slash OPC to automatically save $10 at checkout. You got free shipping. There's two sizes of chairs, master and grandmaster. If you're a larger individual like myself, get yourself a grandmaster. And if you are a smaller individual like somebody else, then get a, get a, get a master. The master, That's... actually, I'm, I'm a larger individual as well. The master works <laughs> just fine. It You're... saves you a little bit of money there. Yeah, you... I got a master. What? For real? Yeah, yeah. It, I fit. I I would Didn't not. Have... I would not fit. So go ahead. Do you have like small like children sizes for someone like Mel? <laughs> like a. <laughs> no, there's not a small enough chair where her feet there's wouldn't not, touch the yeah, ground. No. Yeah, her feet would always be kicking, just be That's kicking true. the whole time. She so... just sits on the ground. That's the closest she gets. Yeah, yeah. Lastly, guys, if you want to get a physical copy of my book, Another Castle, n64josh.com slash another castle with that let's get on over to the announcements hey listen if you would like to be a writer at n64josh.com and i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody that is currently putting content up on the site i'm seeing news articles come out on the regular i'm seeing some some cool articles about like where have all the switches gone and you know just kind of hearing some personal stories about trying to get switches for for parents and grandparents and things like that there's there's a lot of cool stuff going out there go check they've it out collab- they've been collaborating really well in the discord too they have they have we're, we're really starting to build a really cool tight-knit team and so if you are interested in writing for the site get a hold of me in discord n64josh.com slash discord and uh, say hey i want to write if you if you'd gotten a hold of me in the past and i haven't been able to get back to you or whatever please don't don't take it personally i'm just very busy I'm just very busy. I'm grinding so much content right now that I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, it's just, I'm a, I'm a busy man. So, uh, it's not just try again. That's all I'm saying. Try again. Okay. More announcements, guys, we are doing Mario Kart on Monday nights and Friday nights, 7 PM Pacific standard time, 10 PM Eastern. We're jumping into voice chat. We are laughing. If you <laughs> shout out to Patuli, so fun. uh, like, <laughs> There are things said in the chat that end up on my TikTok or that end up on my Instagram because it's so funny. Crawler, I have video of Crawler jumping through a shortcut on a mirror on the mirror track of Yoshi's Circuit, and all he screams is "No!" He sounded like Anakin at the end of Episode Three, and then falls right in the water, and it's just right in front of me. I just hear "No!" water, and it's it's the so best. It's the best. We're having we're having a ton of fun. We're having a ton of fun. And guys, I'm streaming daily on twitch.tv slash n64josh, mostly Animal Crossing. I'm I'm putting a lot of time into my my campsite area. There's a video up for that on YouTube. The coffee shop area, the video for that's going to go up first thing in the morning as soon as I get 
as soon as there's daylight in my town, I will be up recording that video and it will be out. And I had so much fun with my coffee shop. And we're going to talk about that right now when we get into uh, some game tips. We're going to start adding some game tips to the uh, to the old podcast. So here we go. So starting off, I want to jump into this early because I know how people don't listen to things for a super long time. So I wanted to get, get them some good stuff quick. So let's talk a little bit about Animal Crossing. I made a coffee shop today. I'm going to have more details and, and, and give you more advice in the YouTube video about my coffee shop. But one of the things, if you guys are building stuff outside, if you're building stuff outside, you can use what's called a simple panel. There, I've seen three different colors so far, a natural wood, a dark wood, and a white one. You can add, you can customize them. You can add basically like shiplap. You can add your own, your own custom designs. And what I went and did is I added, uh, I, I made a, a design of Brewster so that my coffee shop is animal cross is on brand with animal crossing. Right. And so I have these panels all along my back wall. They're what make up the back wall of my coffee shop, my outdoor coffee shop. And it, and it gives the appearance of having walls. The other, the other way you can do this is by, by turning, uh, the climbing. If you have the climbing wall, you can turn it around, turn it backwards and use the climbing wall, push them together. And that has an interesting look for a wall. The other thing I did, I'll give one more, one more little thing here is that my espresso maker and the coffee grinder are, I used podiums turned sideways because they have some cool woodworking designs on them. And then I threw the, the items on top of those. So they just look like they're part of the counter setup because there's not really a great, like you can use, I use these stalls. That's it's called a stall. It's a, it's a DIY you can get. That's where some, like the, the, one of the, the, uh, the stovetop espresso maker is on there, the cream and sugar, things like that. But these podiums, they just, they look like nice kind of wood counters. And so you, you got to get a little creative, kind of use the like, turn stuff around, turn it backwards, whatever. But there's 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 a lot of uh, a lot of really cool things you can do uh, within this game with uh, just by just by getting getting a little creative. So, crawler, give us a quick Mario Kart tip, and then we're gonna talk to our talk to our guests a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Friday and Monday, just people hopping into chat and kind of seeing how you and I are like our hours put into the game and just our course knowledge and all that kind of stuff. I think. One thing that came up quite a bit was uh, just how to understand the courses more and learn the shortcuts and that kind of stuff. And I think the biggest uh, piece of advice we can give is utilize the the time trials and take advantage of the the world record holding uh, ghosts and then also just the Nintendo ghosts that you have to beat to unlock parts of the gold cart or wheels. I'm not sure. I don't remember which one it, when it was. Um, but if you utilize some of those those lines that those ghosts take in the course, it can it can show you some of those shortcuts and just optimal optimal ways to take advantage of of what's there. And then also, um, a lot of those time trial races will take uh, kind of a more wide line on the first lap, and they're they're gathering coins because if you drive at max ten coins, your top speed will be just that little bit more uh, faster. Yeah, so that's, yeah, exactly, exactly. And Mario Kart is basically muscle memory. You just that's why every time we see a mirror track, we're all like, I can drive most of these tracks with my eyes closed. Like I can read chat <laughs> and try and drive. But we get a mirror course and I'm like, oh, I've got to concentrate. And when bloop, blooper hits on a mirrored course, it's it's game over. <laughs> it's game over. for sure. You just got to you just got to hope you're next to a, a, a speed pad right away <laughs> exactly exactly all right let's uh let's let's talk about what we're playing talk about some indie games here let's let's uh, let's let's jump into it here okay wheat bread give us a little history about you real quick man what uh you you make some content here and there and you're a nintendo oh, fan man. give us the lowdown yes nintendo fan forever i mean since the nes my mom bought one i've had every nintendo home console ever since it's uh I had a lot of Nintendo stuff going on back behind me, as you can probably see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, on the stream, anyway. Right. The, uh, lately, it's just been playing a lot of Switch. I haven't been playing a whole lot of anything else. <laughs> so It's cool. It's cool. What was uh, give, me, give me, like, two of your favorite games growing up as a kid. Oh, geez. Um, I really like 
pretty much everything in the Mario series. Okay. I mean, all the Mario mainline games, you can't go wrong. Mario 64 blew me away back whenever it was new. Love it, love it. So uh, I'd probably say Mario 64 is up there. Cool, cool, awesome, awesome. What have you been playing this week in particular? This week, uh, a lot of Animal Crossing, yep. uh, a lot of Mario Kart with you guys, yep. <laughs> and uh, been playing some, uh, I've just got into Dead by Daylight on PC. That's like the only non-Nintendo thing I've been playing lately. <laughs> uh, cool. I've got some friends that really wanted me to play with them, so I've been getting into that. It's pretty fun. So far, so good. If chat's asking about Mario Sunshine, question mark? Mario <laughs> Sunshine? It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. definitely, yeah, top top. Four pieces of top trash. Four yeah. Wow, top four <laughs> pieces saying. of trash. Yeah. Super Nintendo coming in, coming in yeah. high. I think that's like, the fifth. <laughs> coming in hot. Okay, so, cool. You know. Enjoying Animal Crossing so far? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. I'm taking my time with it. I'm still, like, I just got the store upgrade, like, yesterday. So. Okay. I'm. I only have like two rooms in my house. I've just been doing other stuff besides bell grinding, and yeah, it's cool. coming slowly, but it's coming along. And you do stream on Twitch, right? Twitch.tv/slash Hey Wheatbread. You got it. That's yeah. it. Cool. Is that the only That's place you have content going out? Uh, right now, yeah, pretty okay. much. I mean, I have like a a twit. All right, well, a Twitter. I mean, yeah, I have a Twitter. I'm on Instagram, TikTok. There you Byte, go. Even. <laughs> randomly <laughs> nice you're pretty big on yelp people that are on bite <laughs> <laughs> it's all just at hey wheat bread so yeah pretty yeah. consistent yeah you're pretty well known on tinder too right uh oh. not wow this took a turn all right uh super nintendo what you been playing this last week my friend Yes, hi. Uh, jeez, Animal Crossing, I guess. I in what in in what month? What month are you in? Um, I'm back in May, doing the May Day stuff. <laughs> uh, or no, April, I guess. Yeah. What I've been, yeah, I've been. It's been changing the way. Uh, like I kind of like jump like ten minutes ahead and ba back to to get the prices I want for the turnips. Um, uh, real quick for the Mario Kart, um, tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, I think one thing I, I use, find myself taking advantage of or, uh, taking for granted is the fact that I've been playing games my whole life. Uh -huh. So then when you play games with people who haven't, they're like, playing Mario Kart seems overwhelming. There's so many carts. And so then just starting them off with all the assistant, the assists on. And then from there, just turning them off one at a time until they get better at doing it all, all on their own. Uh, that's a good way you can try and get people that might not play video games as much into Mario Kart. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, and those assists come defaultly on. So if you're wondering why you can't take short can't take shortcuts <laughs> right. or you aren't going as fast as the people next to you, it's because auto auto drive is on and uh, court, what what is it called? Uh, autopilot. Like it just keeps you yeah. somewhat. The gas it, it puts up, yeah, yeah, and it puts up uh, like bumper, invisible bumpers on the on the edge of the course, so you can't drive <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah, exactly. I've talked to so many people that don't know that that's on, right? And like, have played for like a year, and mm -hmm. they're like, I had no idea that was even a thing. Well, and if you accidentally bump something, then you pause it or something like that, because why? I think Y and X turn it off and on on different things. Mm -hmm. So, like, there there were times that when I was complete competing the the completing the grand prix and i was like why am i not able to take these shortcuts because it had gotten bumped when i had paused it and put a controller down in front of a two-year-old or something like that but here's the thing here's how you can know you have it even if you're if you're like well i don't i don't, I don't really notice anything if you have what looks like a rate like a remote control car antenna coming out of the back of your cart that's that's your indicator that your assists are on so if you if you see that antenna you got you have your assists on so just 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 a heads up there. So, uh, Chris, you had said that there's a there's a handful of indie games that dropped this week. So I thought I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, let's uh, let's have you on. Let's yeah. let's talk about some of these. Well, uh, Indivisible came out this morning out of nowhere. It uh, the last week that Spike Chunsoft announced they were releasing it in Japan in July, and then just 505 Games just released it this morning. 
in America and Europe. And uh, that's like a, an action, almost like an RPG, kind of like a, mm, you have four party members and each of them are the four face buttons and you just use the attacks and block and it's a lot of fun. Uh, um, then there's a game called Telling Lies by the developers that did Her Story and Silent Hill for wow. the Wii. Which one was that one for? Forgotten Shattered Memories? I don't, I don't, I never played it. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then there's a couple games that are coming out tomorrow, like uh, uh, Dread Nautical, which is kind of like a uh, sort of, I guess it's sort of like XCOM y, where you're on a boat with like fighting monsters and then um streets of rage 4 comes out on thursday podcast if you have game pass xbox game pass you can play it there or you can get it here um same thing Mo moving out is on game pass now too i think so if you don't yeah. want to buy it on switch you can get it on game yeah. pass and moving out just came out today so yeah there's a lot of games um coming out that look really good but i've been playing that i did the tetris 99 over the weekend to play um i remember uh josh and i were talking about the fact that you can just buy them but apparently you can't buy the last one like before like while this one was going on you couldn't buy luigi because that was the last one so now you might be able to buy Luigi, but you can't get Ring Fit until the next one comes out, or for a few months. Hmm. So I see. I just went through and did it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I had the I there was I had the desire, but I just did not have the uh, willpower. So I I well, did yeah. I didn't do well, it. Well, I mean, you have Animal Crossing now. What else do you need? That's true. That's true. Yeah, I gotta stay. I gotta stay consistent. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. with mario kart so <laughs> cool all right well i think uh crawler what have you been playing uh ac and mario kart and tarkov is getting ready for a wipe here in like a month so start using <laughs> using up stuff in my in my stash in tarkov so doing that a little bit still uh but ac i mean i we're gonna talk about it later i mean i got my problems with it i i kind of hit a breaking point not a breaking point we'll, t we'll talk about it later but ac has been having fun i got my town all moved around i did do a small amount of time traveling this last week um mainly just uh, chris is shocked over there what? <laughs> time travel <laughs> uh, but i i just got tired of doing one house a day uh moving stuff around um so i finally actually started uh I organized a neighborhood. I have two rows of five houses that I that I moved everybody. I had to move Nook's Cranny twice because I wanted to move it like three spaces over and one space down to be a little bit closer to resident services. And it wouldn't... Nook's Cranny was blocking Nook's Cranny's new spot, so I had to move it further down by oh, yeah. by the airport and then put it back up. So I had to pay 100 grand just to move Nook's Cranny uh, three, four spaces. So that's fun. Yes. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so yeah, I bought my first piece of artwork. I didn't buy a fake one. I, I did my research. Nice. Uh, Birth of Venus had a was missing a, a tree limb or something like that, so yeah. I didn't buy Birth of Venus, and I got Starry Night. So we'll we'll see when when Red comes back again. I didn't go check the top of my island today, so maybe he's maybe he's there, but I don't know. So the easy way to know your map will show him. Your okay. map will show his little icon at the end of that at on your secret beach. So. So that's just a quick way to know. And as far as those 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 ma those fake paintings and things like that, uh, Nintendo Life has a guide, but you're also able to like zoom in and see what each each piece of artwork is, and you could pull up the actual piece on your phone and compare. Yeah. If you want to, I had the Ros I had the Rosetta Stone on what was that Sun Sunday or Monday? I don't remember what day he was there for me. Um, but I couldn't like it was so fuzzy when I did zoom in. Like the bottom half of the Rosetta Stone didn't look. Mm. At least I'm pretty sure it was the Rosetta Stone. It just didn't look real. I mean, I don't know. So, so I passed on the Rosetta Stone. But so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, because I, I think I think what I was reading in that Nintendo Life article is that there can be more than one legitimate piece of art there that day. 
yeah they don't all have to be fake it seems to me that the the so this is the idea i had actually is i'm assuming if you have multiple people on your island everybody can go buy a piece of art from him mm. and so you could fill your museum a little quicker if that's the case if there's multiple real pieces but then the the flip side of that because i just did my campsite i'm actually kind of kicking myself that i didn't set up the three other players on my and have their tents on that campsite forever and not upgrade it so there's always tents on the campsite like i'm always thinking of other ways to try to decorate with this game of things that aren't necessarily decorations and i'm like oh i can other accounts join your island then that are on your switch yeah or is, do you have to do that at the very beginning no you can do it anytime, oh, join at anytime. Oh. so you can just you can terraform and add a spot like oh yeah totally totally i just i i have to also make more profiles and you know i've i'm i'll get to it eventually <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much been the same for me. It's been Animal Crossing, Mario Kart. Uh, haven't really been playing anything other than that. I've had, I've had, I've been as a as a community. We watched Avengers through the mm -hmm. Twitch watch parties, and so I've had, I've kind of been Jones to play Ultimate Alliance. Like, yeah, I just, need to. I haven't done any of the the DLC stuff, so I need to. Yeah, I need to complete the first, the first, just the main game. So uh so yeah but uh, yeah it's just been mario kart and and animal crossing and i'm loving animal crossing right now so it's gonna be a fun little back and forth later on uh when crawler gets all salty and i'm just like oh you're so silly it's so good blah 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 so with that let's get to the news all right clubhouse like games club what how dare you how dare you <laughs> clubhouse games is coming out june 5th it will take advantage of mosaic mode previously only in mario party this is where we're talking like laying switches out on the table and what'd you see it was showing off slot cars uh yeah slot cars i like this i like this yeah i'm, I'm hopeful that it's maybe gonna have more than just slot cars that take advantage of this but like mm -hmm. uh, nintendo put out a tweet and it's linked here in the show notes um, or you can just go to, to Nintendo's uh, Twitter feed and it's down there like four or five posts down. Uh, but yeah, it shows them doing four four switches all in a line and they do a big oval uh, first and then they mix them up and put them kind of in different configurations and they just drag their finger from one to the other and it puts all sorts of crazy turns and twists and stuff in the slot car track and it, it goes across four different switches. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Clubhouse games? Seriously, I'm I'm so so stoked to see this series coming back. Uh, I saw a tweet. I haven't seen any of the stuff that Nintendo's put out about this game as of recent, but I saw, and maybe one of you guys can confirm. Um, Andre tweeted out what looked like the the bowling with the Joy-Con, very similar to Wii, like the Wii Sports bowling. Is this like Chris? Have you seen? Is this is this confirmed? Are we gonna be able to bowl with motion? Uh, yeah, you can bowl with motion. Uh, so this, the mosaic thing, comes from a Japanese trailer. They released a Japanese trailer yesterday with more stuff about the game, and including motion controls for bowling and uh, darts. I love it. I so love you can it. use a Joy-Con nice. and just hold it overhand and just throw the darts. But bowling, um, from there's like maybe five seconds total of footage from bowling. But it looks just like the. It looks just like Wii Sports Bowling. This is really good news. This is really good news. Here's what's crazy: Clubhouse Games Bowling and Darts were two of the games that I played a lot on that game on the on the DS. Like it 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 sounds silly, but but playing those two with the stylus was a was a blast. It worked really really well. So mm -hmm. I, I have very high hopes for this game. It's crazy. This is even like one of the most anticipated titles from Nintendo this year. <laughs> like, and it's like a forty dollar, like party game. But I'm... So that makes me wonder how playable. Like, if they're gonna have multiple options for some of those games, and the light can take advantage of the touchscreen. Possibly, yeah. There's a good chance that'd be. Otherwise, otherwise you're stuck in a Mario Party situation where you have to have separate Joy-Con. Just chuck your light, you know? Just use the... <laughs> just use the accelerometer in it. <laughs> Hold your whole light like a bowling ball. Just go for it. Just go for it. So... They're going to come out with some kind of strap to attach to your wrist for the... The, the entire... Yeah. You, just, you just palm it around the screen and you just, right. just bowl it. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. Where, where are your safety there. straps, kids? So let's talk a little further about Clubhouse Games. Is this a game that you guys played back in the day? Like Wheat Bread, did you play Clubhouse Games before, like on the DS? Never, never really. I don't think I did. If I did, I don't remember playing it. <laughs> so I don't think I did. I don't think I ever picked it up. I haven't played it, but I'm, I'm excited to pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. You've got me hyped to pick it up now. <laughs> Chris, you? Yeah. Yeah. I played it um, on the DS and played it a lot. I'm looking forward to this, especially with like Mancala and chess and checkers. I can play it online with my boys. And uh, sadly, it's what, like 50 bucks? Is it that much? I thought it was forty. Uh, I thought it was forty. Yeah, right. I thought yeah, it was 40. thirty-nine ninety-nine. But... Forty. Yeah. 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 So, it, like I said, this was this was one of those games, like because we had multiple DSs. It was it was it got played a lot. It got played a lot, and it, because a lot of times it was one of those games too that was so simple for people to pick up that they weren't gamers, that mm -hmm. that they could they could easily get into it and and you know because if you're just playing chess or checkers or something like that, anybody can do that. You're not going to need the the hand eye coordination things like that. So right. it it could be a lot of fun, and uh, it, I mean and to see this game, you know, it, it, in HD. They've, they've added some games. This whole mosaic thing sounds really cool. Like, I mean, slot cars for me as a kid, that was the, I, I, I had a buddy who his parents just let us build slot cars all over their uh, pool table. Like once we got tired of playing pool, I think they'd throw a piece of plywood down and we would just have slot cars going everywhere, you know, and uh, loop to loops and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm excited to, uh, the, the more I hear about this game, the, the more excited I get. So, uh, Chris already mentioned, but the surprise game launch on Switch today, um, surprising everyone, including the game's developers, <laughs> was uh, indivisible. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, it's it's crazy. The Nintendo Switch version is not the same uh, as the games on the other platforms. It's missing New Game Plus and a co-op mode. So, right. And then they released the statement saying 20p docked and undocked and then once they've they, they got a patch coming out once the patch comes out it'll end up having uh 1080p docked and 720p uh undocked so it makes me wonder how something like this happens if they submitted something to nintendo for for um uh for validation or, or, or i'm drawing a blank on the proper Cer word certification certification um and and then maybe the publisher just gave the go-ahead, like, behind their back or something like that? I don't know. Well, yeah, they said there was a different team that was working on the port. So the other team would have submitted it to 505 Games, and maybe they just submitted it to Nintendo and just said, go put it up whenever, I guess. Because, <laughs> yeah, they said they didn't know about it until people tweeted at them saying, congratulations, yeah. your game's out. <laughs> congratulations. <Wow. laughs> and they said they're just they're not happy with the state that it's currently in. So, yeah, they yeah. definitely do want to patch it. And, and add those features hopefully and I think it, I think what I was reading on this games.industry uh, or gamesindustry.biz article was uh, that uh, it was Indiegogo funded is that correct? Yeah it was Indiegogo or Kickstarter I think so yeah so point, like yeah. some like the backers aren't quite positive when they're going right. to get their copies and then they're I guess they're also in talks to possibly do a, a physical release as well which they're not Everything's kind of just, oh, hey, this game's out now, and we haven't done all of our... There was no promotion kind of stuff going on, so right, yeah, it, yeah, it kind of it kind of sucks for that. Because but... I think originally this was going to be like a uh, a Wii U game, and then they said, well, it's so... Now that it's not coming out until 2018, we're moving the Wii U version to the Switch. And then right before the game came out, they were like, okay, it's not ready for the Switch, so we're going to bring it out now for the Xbox and PlayStation 4, and then it'll come to Switch later. And now it's just like randomly dropped and the developer didn't even know about it. So they don't have any of the Kickstarter backer codes ready and they're waiting on them from Nintendo and 505. Wow. It sounds like a, it sounds like a mess. It sounds like a mess. <laughs> so this isn't in our notes. It's not even Nintendo related, but it's game, it's game industry related. And there's been some, some craziness going on with uh, the last of us two and an employee that kind of leaked everything to do with this game the mm -hmm. story like and it's the the tweets that i've seen from people have been 
you know, it's kind of like it doesn't it doesn't matter the the whatever happened between you and the and the company, like to betray all of your past co like all your coworkers, all all the the team that worked on this. Like it's pr- you're kind of, it's you're kind of writing yourself out of the industry then if you're doing that. Yeah, like have yeah. fun, at, like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think know. It was a translator. They were doing the translation for the in Italian, and uh, and there was like some dispute in their pay, and then they just leaked everything. Yeah, not and cool. so now I wouldn't suggest looking at any of. The, PlayStation's tweets because all of them are just replies with all the spoilers. Oh man! Yeah, take advantage of that mute feature and on Twitter you can you can mute yeah. things like the main characters' names, the uh, the Last of Us, the Last of Us Two. You can mute all those words and they will not show up on your um, on your on your feed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, people I just love that. Stuff, all I had so. seen was my Best Buy notification that my my edition is coming out on. What June twentieth now? Nineteenth, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Kind of sad news. They, they pushed Ghost of Shushima as well, or I can't say it. Yeah. Say it, but... yeah. It was supposed to be yeah June twenty eighth. Um. The, now it's coming see, out in July. Um, also today, uh, Deadly Premonition two got a release date. Am I jumping ahead in the news? No, no, you're good. No. You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> Deadly Premonition two got a release date of July tenth. And then at the same time when they announced that, the um the first game is on the eShop for only fourteen ninety nine right now. So tell us about that series a little bit. I'm I, I don't know much about it. Uh it's like a terrible game that got a cult following. <laughs> and <laughs> good start. Good start. It's a horrible game. Cool. I'm sold. It's coming out on July. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. But it's on sale, game. so yeah, but it's on sale. <laughs> And, um, yeah, it's just really just campy, and mm, it was just, it, it just got a lot of people wanting to play it, and so now, see for yourself, it'll be a blast, I'm sure, for some people. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and the second game comes out uh, July 10th, and um, uh, one other piece of news I didn't see on here, but Nintendo of Japan it says they are ceasing production on gray, red, and yellow Joy Cons. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So you won't be able to like order them from their website anymore. Does uh, Does Nintendo Japan still have the build your own Switch for Japanese customers? Was that a thing? Well, yeah, I think it was before everything, but I think they don't have it right now with the Corona and everything. Cause, yeah, because you could like special order your own Switch and put whatever color Joy-Con you wanted yeah, on it. you could pick what you want for the left Joy-Con, what you want for the right, and then, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere gets the best stuff except for North America. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, poor us. <laughs> All right. Also, <laughs> I wonder what the mosaic will be like with the Switch Lite. Because it'll be kind of awkward to put a couple of those together. They got a bigger bezel on them too, right? Yeah, so all the uh, videos show just the OG Switch. Yeah, it could could be something like we were talking about with it. Mario Kart. Mario Party kind of kind of stipulations on it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. May not. May not work. Yeah, I see. We'll we'll talk about this real quick as well. uh, Chad is talking about it because it's going on right now. Ninjala. I didn't realize it was so limited as what it was, but I, I tried to boot it up right before we started the stream, and they're limiting it to like an hour. I think it's happening right now. Three as we're, hours, we're, yeah. So, yeah. Well, three separate out one hour blocks right. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, I guess their server. <laughs> Josh was saying their servers melted. And Some somebody in chat this afternoon. Because I've been trying to play for the last twenty minutes and haven't been able. To. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so Ninjala's off to a, a screaming start. Yeah, I saw mm-hmm. a tweet that said more like no Jala. You know, so got him. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay. We're gonna get into our talking point here, which is Animal Crossing. Prepare for some salt and prepare for some sugar, okay? But just be prepared for a little bit of both. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So Crawler is sitting on Salt Mountain right now. 
Because his thumb hurts from pressing A. It's not a full mountain assault, but it's 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 some. It's not a full mountain. Chat, I want you guys to... Listen, there is no reason that we can't criticize a game constructively. Okay? This doesn't mean that we're... This doesn't mean that we don't like the game. This doesn't mean that we think the game is bad. This definitely doesn't mean that we want to inflict harm to anybody that made the game. Okay? We're very thankful. We love... We, we love everybody that made this game. We're, we're glad that it's given us hours and hours of entertainment. But we're going to critique it a little bit. Good and bad. So chat, mm-hmm. I want to hear from you guys. What are some things that you'd like to see different? Give me one thing in chat that you'd like to see improved on. Okay? Crawler, I know you're locked and loaded. Yep. Chris, I'm going gonna, I'm, so. I'm, I'm gonna to start with you. So wheat bread, oh. be ready. So <laughs> All right. Chris, Starting with you, you get to start. You, you play the game... <laughs> You you time travel you you and this is not this is not I'm not I'm not saying anything poorly about time traveling, you, you know you're getting the most out of it by, yeah. I mean you dropped like two million bells in my town today I think so you know like I'm <laughs> yeah. like that's I, all I can all carry. Can carry yeah, yeah. yeah we <laughs> bring some other stuff so so um, you know I mean I'm it's it it is what it is but what are some things that you'd like to see done differently? Hmm. These are just just things that bother me because of the fact that I time travel and do things in multiple, just do over and over again in a single day. And it's the Isabel talking in the morning. Like every time you turn the game on, mm-hmm. I really don't want to hear the same stories over and over again. She watches um, way too much TV. So, way too much. Mm-hmm. The <laughs> best one was when she told me, She's like giving the announcements. Oh, there's no announcements today, and then freaks out and realizes she forgot she was supposed to call her brother to wake him up because his alarm wasn't set. And she said he probably overslept now because. And then she's like, "Well, I gotta go. See you later." Um, but yeah, uh, that it has been bothering me ever since Splatoon One when they would make you listen to the. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with loading the right. town up, but. Uh, Still kind but of does it though? Because the town is in the the title screen. That's your town. Right, it's well, there. That one spot of the town is. Well, if you leave it there, doesn't it follow some people around, or does it stay on that area? I haven't left it for very long. Mm. Well, it could be loading up all your mail and everything else. Who knows? Mm. Um, but the um, the other thing is the crafting, and like if I want to craft fish food, and I got to craft one at a time it's like who in the world (laughs) played this like tested it for hours on end and thought yeah this is good they're gonna like this this is gonna be great (laughs) there are in there are a number of things that that we can now do in this game that we couldn't do before that feels like they went back to the way they made the first game and then these are things that they'll improve upon. It, it's <laughs> some of it almost feels like, don't worry, we're gonna like this game's more likely to be updated, right? That's one thing we did, we should have put in the news too. The, there was a, I believe it was a CNET interview, and they said that they will be updating this game for like t- two to three years, is what they said. I believe it said years. Right. Yeah, I think they said they expect new things coming to this game for years to come. Yeah, well, that could also do with the fact that they have to prevent the time travelers from exposing the events, all these events need updates before they go live. Like this last la- last week when we got an update, it loaded in uh, uh, the Earth Day event stuff, it loaded in May Day stuff, it loaded in the art gallery, and it loaded in, uh, is there something that happens after May Day? Yeah, there's the wedding. Oh, the, event the wedding, June. the wedding stuff, the anniversary event stuff. So that, that all came with that, well, I didn't even know, Chris, is, uh, is that end, stuff the in there? stuff's not in there, I don't think. Okay, so yeah, so even that, like, it's not... not active yet. Yeah. So, the, if they're wanting to keep the engagement, especially since it is a seasonal game, yeah, they're going to have to support it for multiple years, especially since they're trying to lock out people from exposing the uh, the events, which is which I think is good. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. For sure. Hey, wheat bread, what, uh, yes. what would you like to see? different in this game a couple things one now i haven't done a whole lot with outdoor decorating yet but i can already tell 
I'm going to wish that outdoor decorating was like indoor decorating, where you can hit down on the D-pad mm -hmm. and had just move stuff around. I already know that's going to be really annoying once I start doing more outdoor decorating. And then B, I think it said 1 and B. So 1 and B, uh, I did see someone say this in chat as well, but uh, when you're going into the fitting room at the Able Sisters, yes. if I want three different colors of the same hat. <laughs> That's what sparked this whole thing last night with Josh. I was oh like, gosh. I just had to spend so much time. <laughs> you, you can only wear one of each type of clothing. Yep. And then you have to leave and then go back in and then buy another one of each type of clothing and then leave. And sometimes oh you forget gosh. what you bought and you buy. <laughs> right, you buy two. <laughs> it's infuriating. Here's what would be hilarious is they just let you stack everything on your character. You know how many people would be tweeting like I bought like 19 jackets and your dude is all fat and like, <laughs> like a little coat. <laughs> yeah, like you got all these samurai helmets stacked on top of him. Like it, it would be hilarious content, right? Like let's We're at a store. <laughs> you can put stuff in your cart in a store. Come on, let us have a cart. Yeah. You give us like a, a hand basket or something, anything. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I, I'm going to hit chat up real quick because I know Crawler's going to go for a while. So here we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Something that I would love to see. One Angry Kitty says grids for island construction. Yes, I want to know exactly where I'm hitting. I'm going to I'm going to add to that and say, give me a the a button to add to the river and B to 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 dig or, to sculpt, or add to sculpt water because isn't there a sculpt as well Ex yeah there's there yeah. you can make angles so like utilize those face buttons like give us a little tutorial that hey if you hit a you're going to you're going to backfill if you hit b you're going to dig out and if you hit c you're going to knock something at an angle i'm sorry x not c i'm just abc you guys get it but uh we're not playing the genesis controller here um so, <laughs> you, you yeah. can probably play it with one, I you, have pro one. you probably could you probably could right. so uh let's see yeah ribbon bell says i don't want it to i don't want to go out of the in and out of the fitting room i i get it i get it i'm with you give us a cart uh, i'm gonna add to that give us a debit card like they gave us in city folk oh, no. so that when i have my nook shopping app and i went <laughs> wow i want to buy this sixty thousand dollar electric guitar that i just cataloged oh wait i have to go back have to the to machine to, <laughs> to get the money chris could only carry two million bells today yeah i wish i could just bring my you know that venmo you some money <laughs> Right, right. That, that's an app that Nick needs Mo. to go on the yeah. phone. They did, they added that app on the phone for once you got terraforming. So just yeah, like let's keep it going. Yep, more apps. Pudding says shopping. P pudding says yeah. So I think terraforming. that's gonna fix some of my stuff that I complain about. But what's the threshold that you have to spend to get the Nook shopping on your phone? Hundred items. You have to send a hundred. Like you have to either send? buy buy a hundred or send. You know, spot order them for yourself. You can do five a day. And then two for every friend. Mm -hmm. That's not a. If that's not an ad for time travel, then I don't know what is. That's why everybody got cardboard boxes. Because I just went down my list and just no. sent cardboard boxes okay. to everybody. That's why I get people jump in my Twitch chat and they're like, "I got a message from you. I was so excited. It was a cardboard box." I'm like, "I'm sorry. Like, it was 120 about, bells. How many bells did this cost? 120. It's, it's the like cheapest item. Yeah. That's cheaper than actually selling it or than than mailing it. Right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and more for shipping than you are the actual item. Exactly. Exactly. So pudding says better terraforming options like being able to put uh high edges, option to uh put out wallpaper or motif on the side of the cliff, um to have like a brick wall or something, and being able to build bridges that aren't over a river. That'd be cool too, if you could go over the cliffs between the cliffs, that'd be that'd be all right. The the thing I'm gonna add uh add to that is the ability just to hang stuff outside. We don't have the ability to put anything on the walls whatsoever. Even those, the simple panels, the first thing, first thing people said when they came into my chat today, or, or I told them how I was using the simple panels, can I hang stuff on these? Everybody says that. And I to tell them, no, I, I felt bad because it's kind of like, it's a little crushing. Cause it's just like, I was like, yeah, I would love to. I have different, these different ideas for my coffee shop, putting up a poster of Brewster, you know, I would love to do that. You, you, you can't it, it doesn't it's it's not available so uh let's see uh 
Patchouli says terraforming with the just nothing but crazy eye emotes going on. Dr. Dax says uh, batch crafting or crafting things I have the ingredients for without having to craft uh, the base item uh, like with tools. Um, Diagonal paths is also from Dr. Dax. Addison says I would like more buildings and activities. Sometimes it does get a little boring, but I wish there were more uh, tourneys buildings to do things I, i'm going to get into that a little bit here uh patchouli says to be able to place more pathway pathways cliffs and rivers rather than just placing one uh, being able to connect pathways or different types without bits of grass in between okay so if you switch from the wood pathway to the stone pathway there's no way around it you're going to get a tiny patch of grass now i saw a tweet that went out that showcased the ways people were laying some paths that, that cleaned that up. That tw that account is now protected and that tweet is no longer to be found. So I'm like, I don't know what happened here. If it was like, maybe it was a hack. The Illuminati got to him. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Dr. Dax is the uh, permanency of custom paths. I don't want to be able to kick them away. Also add sound effects. A lot of people make little rock paths, things like that. You don't have the sound effects for those. And, and I mean, it seems like it could be, hey, do you want this to be stone? Do you want something that could possibly be added pretty easy? Again, I'm not a developer, so don't, you know. You, you got you to gotta yell in a French Canadian accent here for putting stuff. Okay. Wow. Everything is in, everything is all caps putting so angry. <laughs> So angry. Uh, Dax also says yes to the Nook phone pay. Yes, please. And to put rugs outside. Exactly. I'm decorating this coffee shop. If I could throw some rugs down, it would really differentiate between the just the boardwalk flooring and the, the floor on the inside. But Like, why is uh, that the only furniture you can't put outside? <laughs> right, right. And then Pudding says, can I please stack those stupid manila clams? It's dumb that I can only carry... Uh, 40, I can carry, only carry 40 refrigerators or 40 vanilla <laughs> clams in my pockets. Uh, Museum Fo says it would, or Fox, it would be, uh, it could be dangerous, but I would like to be able to craft from the resources in my storage instead of having to get it out of storage. Yes, in New Leaf, you could go to the train station, open up a locker, get into your storage. I could be on your island, open up a locker and be in your storage. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe, and, I, and you guys do, thank you to everybody that tweets at me like, hey, you guys said this about New Leaf and you could do this. I forgot you could hit stuff at an angle. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but thank you for correcting me. I appreciate you. Uh, the, the the storage units let us let us get in to storage let let me put a storage unit next to my my <laughs> my crafting station i just want to i was so excited when i got the first wardrobe and locker whatever i was like oh finally i don't have to go back to my house i opened it i like i like open a locker and it's got all my clothes i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? Why are my clothes transported to my workstation, but my the the soft wood, the hardwood, and the regular wood still sitting in my house? What is what is going on here? If my clothes teleport, anything can teleport. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, Ribbon Bell says maybe have an inventory button while you're at the DIY beach. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, pudding just wants to stack clams. Okay, crawler, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you rant. Go for it. All right. So this, I mean, I, we, we, what was last night or two? Was it after Mario Kart night or something like that? Yeah, it was you last, and I got on a call last night. You were like, but if it, I have to press A one more time, I'm like, bro, you've got a turbo <laughs> controller. Just hold it down. <laughs> but it's, it, I had the Zap helmet in my Able Sister store the other day, so I bought all the Zap helmets because they're all different colors, and I had, I think, with that, I had two different colors of gas masks and. Uh, some other stuff, and like I don't know how many pairs of shoes I bought because I forget which colors I. Let's get a little check mark on something that you like, because you, in your crafting, you get a check mark if you crafted it, so they they can track stuff. So let me know I bought it, like instead of having to go to uh, Nook Shopping and see that have it in your catalog, just let's have it all just there in your when you're shopping and uh, the shopping cart i think would be the best because it's just very annoying to walk out and have mabel say the same thing over and 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 over again especially when you have to buy it like a bunch of times 
Speaking of saying stuff over and over and over again. Here it comes. Hope you're ready. Here it comes. I got excited. Sahara was on my island again today, and I, that's a good way to get stuff that is not easy to find with the, with the unique flooring and, and wallpaper and stuff. She says the same thing over and over again, and it ends it, as, as annoying as, like, kicks and uh, whoever else comes to the plaza to buy stuff. And, like, they ask you again, if, and you're rushing through, and you press B, and then, then you that's your fault, and you have to go back in there and initiate the conversation again. But Sahara just ends the conversation. She goes about her way and walks walks away from you. So it's like, <laughs> like at least let me, I want to buy all three of your rugs and the mystery stuff. Like, let's let's just do it. I want to buy it all. Like, let's do it. <laughs> I got the bells. <laughs> no, uh, but you got to get the ticket, and then she's gonna be like, "Oh, hey, you got those tickets. You want to use five. them?" Here's one, ex here's one extra one because you bought all three of the rugs. <laughs> I, I need to go check my storage because I probably she's on my island tonight. So I need to go probably see if I have. I don't know how many tickets I have. Maybe I have a free, free something to go get. So with her, yeah. you can get one rug, one, one new rug, one new, you know, all three sizes. And then you can purchase a mystery wall and floor. And then with the tickets, you can get one extra mystery wall and floor. And then that's it. That's that's mm -hmm. that's the max for when she's there. <clears throat> so when I when I when she's been five times, then you'll have an extra ticket. And then you can get both a mystery floor and a mystery wallpaper. Or right? if you're like extra. me, you just you just buy the stuff that she's got there so that you can get everything every time she shows up. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you just you just buy doubles. Of I everything? just buy double rugs so that I don't have to. I'm like, I don't, you know, I just want I want all of the mystery stuff. So I'm like, yeah. I'll just spend the I money. I haven't thought about that. Then you're just gifting stuff away or whatever. OK, finish you your rant. I'm going to tell you guys what I had to do this weekend. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I think just the biggest thing is the game is fun. I think designing stuff is is a lot of fun, but it's the, the way I, I guess it's purposeful to, to slow you down with all the conversation, but it feels just extraneous and stuff that you, do, you don't need all the click. It makes me rush through click and B. Yep. And I feel like I, I mess up more often than not trying to click because there's no good indicators when something gives you a choice to in the menus um to like walk away or you press b and you just walk out like when you're doing stuff with kicks and you're trying to buy all the all the bags and the shoes and stuff and do you want to buy more or i do this all the time in the in the the cabinet at nook's cranny and when i'm trying to like i i buy i buy a single uh packet of flowers as opposed to buying them in bulk and i'm pressing b to rush through it and then i back out and then i have to go back in it's just there's there's things that i feel like could be better like let's you can turn in all this stuff to nook's cranny by selecting it which you said is a nice change from what it used to be back on on gamecube oh GameCube, i got which... i got corrected on that too apparently it was wrong i think i think what i was thinking of was the fossils you could not do more than one fossil at a time it was always oh, okay. each one you know and but what, yeah. yeah i mean but it goes back to like able sisters shopping cart like let's do the same thing in the cabinet at nook's cranny or wherever that you're trying to like you can you can tom nook is happy to take maximum amount of money from you for your loan all in one fell swoop without having to enter it in but like as opposed to the kicks i want to buy all your stuff give it to me all like let's have a button for that because how many people are trying to catalog everything especially early early game right like just give it to me or everything i don't have or like there's so many quality of life stuff that they're probably the reason why i probably have so many hours in this game is because of how it slows you down and I could do stuff a lot faster if I had options. And the thing is, like with Blathers, you know, they're 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 talking about Blathers in chat. Like he is one of the best examples in the game because he's he's pretty quick to get to what you're going to be looking at. He mm -hmm. then tells you if you have something he wants or doesn't want, so you don't have to then like show it to him. Mm -hmm. He also looks at everything at once, and then he gives you the option. He's like, "Hey, do you want to know about this?" And you're like, "I don't." Nope. And then he doesn't, and then he doesn't, he doesn't tell you. So you can just. Well, he doesn't even bother you if you give him more than one thing. He's like, oh, you don't want to know about any of this. It's yeah. like, yep. Yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a hurry here, you know? So I don't mind the opening conversation, like having that conversation initially, like, oh, hey, you want to look in our closet? You know, Timmy and Tommy, closet, closet. Yeah, yeah okay. And then, <laughs> and then 
But then you're like... The abused Tommy. Yeah, they're like, do you want to buy in bulk? And I'm like, no, I really want to buy in bulk. Like, let's Costco this thing. I'll become a member. What do I need to do to be able to buy, like... 50 of the the crafting materials instead of five at a time and then listening to the conversation you know or, or in fact if i've purchased it once just throw it into my my nook phone and mail it to me if what like whatever's gonna be the it's it's sad in this game the quickest way to get items i'm in chat i'm like hey guys i need a beach towel somebody's like i got you they mail it to me i have it right then if i buy it myself it comes the next day I can't, if I order it myself, it's there the next day. So it's like, and then you're limited to two items, you know? So um, again, none of this salt is because we dislike the game. In fact, I can't believe how much I love this game right now and how much fun I'm having creating outside. But I want to tell you guys what I did on Saturday. I spent eight hours with three people taking out all my flowers and all my trees because I wanted to get that three-star rating quickly. I was like, hey, Twitch stream, you guys should all come on in and plant flowers for me. I had flowers everywhere everywhere and we had done probably half the island and then got a communication error and it undid everything that we had done so there's no option to save while that's people an, are there say, that's another thing the online the <laughs> online just mess that it is how many people did you like i wasn't even paying that close of attention i think you were pl you were playing music while it was going on oh, yeah. somebody was crafting something yep and you opened up your island and it can just gridlock people with the, the whole leaving or not leaving and and that's i mean i feel like that's an issue on on uh the turnip exchange website it's like don't you have to leave by the airport don't just because i don't know what that does if you if you uh rescue yourself out of the island or if you just turn it off i don't know does that communication error is that what so causes it it's it can... i can i've left by hitting the back button or hitting the minus button and it hasn't been an issue and then other times it communication errors everybody else there so i don't i don't know chris did you know i guess it could do something to people's like save or something like what they had like on the, the, them the host would... Yeah, they would go back to their island and wouldn't have anything that they mm. were holding or something. Right, right. Chris, you look well, locked then, and loaded. Like, you look like you were ready to jump back in on this uh, this salt train here. What, what What's on your mind there? Mm. Mm. This game <laughs> kind of sucks. Here's the... Here's the <laughs> how many, how many, I'm going to look up how many hours Chris has right now. Uh, well, yeah. Um, I've got a few. So... Th they need to make it easier to time travel um, in the game. They need to make it so I can have a conversation with someone while someone's coming into town. I don't care who's coming into town. I don't need to see their entrance. What is this, a wrestling pay-per-view? I don't care. I don't want to see that. I just want, I just want to play the game, invite people over. They can come and they can leave. I mean, if, if I'm in a town, I don't know everyone that comes through town in real life. I yeah. don't like if you come through town. It's not like all of a sudden I gotta stop talking to who I'm talking to. And Trump, Trump is don't need to blast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and just look who it is. One hundred ninety hours for you, Chris. At, at the end of the day, all, the majority of all these complaints are because we want to spend more time playing the game and less time listening to dialogue. And here's the thing: in the or past, mistakenly games, quitting out of dialogue. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Uh, in the past games, I wouldn't go and talk to my villagers. I, I like, I got so annoyed with talking to villagers. I never got the police station in New Leaf because they had to, they had to trigger and then come talk to me. I was like, oh my gosh, don't talk to me anymore. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I don't care. I don't. I barely like you living here. Okay. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> And then I didn't get my police station because of it, because I got too impatient. And I think at the end of the day, all we want to do is just be able to play the game more, work on the terraforming, work on decorating, work on creating and crafting and things like that. And this 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 slows us down. Like I, I played five hours straight on stream today, and there's a certain points I'm like, man, I feel like I did not get that much done because because but then at the same time, because the balloons are flying over, which are cool, right? You're always getting new stuff that way, so you never know what you're gonna get. I got some rad stuff today, so I'm not I mean I'm not I'm not complaining. But it does stay hard to like stay on track. You know, I did a video with with design tips and things like that, and like the first comment was, How come you didn't shoot all those balloons? I'm like, bro, I'm making a video <laughs> trying to teach you how to do design stuff. And they're like, You missed those balloons. I'm like, I know I missed those balloons. I was I know, I know. So, yeah. 
That's part of the problem. The designing, like laying down paths, is a pain. And uh, I played 119 hours, and about 90 hours of that is me looking to see who just joined or left the town. <laughs> and it's just got to end. They got to yeah. do something to fix it. Yeah. We just um, we want drop in, it, like, drop it, out. I think it. Uh, I think I was hearing somebody say it. It. It kills the spawn of all the the fish. If somebody's like fishing on your island yeah. and somebody comes in, it kills whatever you were trying to do. Like yeah. in that instance, and so if you had a big shadow that you were chasing over there somewhere, it mm-hmm. it goes away. Yep. And it's uh, I don't know. They're Nintendo and their netcode. Like we could go on. We could go on a rant about <laughs> that with 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 Mario Kart and this Mario and Kart. Smash yes. and oh all sorts of stuff. The funniest thing with Mario Kart is you. Sh- you shoot a red shell at somebody, they use their mega horn. On your screen, they get hit, but they never lose any speed whatsoever. They even drop <laughs> coins that you can pick up. But they're like, they're like, you never hit me, you know, you never hit me. So it, yeah, it's 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 funny, it's funny. All that to say, wheat bread, give us give us one more one more final final word here on on Animal yeah. Crossing. On uh, something I'd like to improve? Sure, or what you love, oh, you know. We just kept oh, you kind of quiet because we've just been... Crawler just ranted for too long. I'm, right. just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying going to websites and just looking up funny and weird uh, QR codes for things that I can put on the ground, like right now. <laughs> it's a little morbid, but I have, I have a lawnmower, and I found, like... A, a trail of blood from the lawnmower, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like no. a handprint and a trail of blood, <laughs> and leads up to the lawnmower. So I started it at like a grill, and it comes down and comes around a corner and stops at the <laughs> lawnmower. So wow. it's like, oh, so this, this is a DIY here. path that you did. Yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So I just like finding weird things like that and then putting them in. The, okay, yeah, that's really funny. I'm gonna leave that, or if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it and delete it from my DIY. Uh, designs and find something else to replace <laughs> that's too funny too funny yeah. okay i think that's gonna do it let's wrap this thing up mm-hmm. all right super nintendo where can we find you well you find me playing animal crossing um or what? you can find me on twitter <laughs> find you super watching nintendo. people come into your <laughs> Yeah, you know, watching. Yeah, watching people come in to my town. Um, yeah, just ugh, takes forever. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, Super Nintendo Dad, maybe on Twitch you can probably find me on Super Nintendo Dad. Uh, jeez. You're just hanging out in Discord chats <laughs> yeah. a lot. I see. Yeah, sometimes I'll just throw jump in the Discord chat and then forget I'm there. And then leave, and then like leave it on, go for a walk, and then I'll get a message. It'll be like, "Hey, you're not talking," and I'll be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, so that that happens sometimes. Mm. Yeah. All right, all right. Hey, wheat bread, where can we find you? Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Byte. Etc. All at Hey Wheat Bread. Um, <laughs> I'm also in the Discord, not nearly as much as most people, but uh, sometimes you'll catch me there. Cool, awesome. Crawler, where are you coming at us at? Uh, in the Discord. Uh, it's probably the easiest spot. Uh, you can see me flying across Josh's screen on what was that? Instagram or TikTok or was it both <laughs> yeah. I don't even know Twitter yeah. Facebook yeah. All, this, all the places <laughs> Farmers Only so, uh, so yeah I, and and you can come race with us because that's Farmers usually yeah, it's usually a good time Josh and I going back and forth a little bit um, more audio I got more audio equipment ordered today so I might actually actually get my Twitch going up again here sometime oh. soon so uh, twitch.tv slash yeah who knows uh, I'm bad at Tarkov but we'll see uh, so twitch.tv slash uh, nightcrawlers724 nightcrawlers without the E there you go guys you can follow me everywhere including TikTok including TikTok sometimes TikTok's a... <laughs> well you can go see for yourself you can go see for yourself but I, we're, we're having some fun there that's for sure uh, but I'm everywhere add in 64 Josh Instagram Twitch uh, there's a lot of Animal Crossing content hitting my youtube so please please go subscribe 
check that out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your questions are. I'd love to be able to help you guys out. I've been helping out a ton of people with the with playing Animal Crossing on two switches, like a ton of people. So um, check out the YouTube. I'm streaming on Twitch on the regular. If you're bored at work, you want to throw a tab on for me. A lot of you guys have done that, and I'm so, so very grateful for that. So thank you so much. We've met a ton of new people. I love you guys. We've been having so much fun. So glad you're part of the community, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Do the Mario. Do the Mario. Looks like someone's coming to town, baby. Someone's <laughs> coming to town. Oh, we're so you, you definitely need to go pull the audio clip so you can just play it instead of you at the end now. <laughs> do, do the Mario.